Hey there, Jen with Fine Skills here. I've wanted to make a video to show you how to build a report in your collection section. So first you're going to head to Report Builder, and then you're going to scroll down to show all the collection item sections here, which typically you have to select a project type, which is your template, for those to be visible. And I'm going to do one in the medical section. So what I want to do is just have a report that's going to pull in anything. I want to see all the health insurance payments. So I'm going to do provider first name, final balance due. I'm going to delete and I'm going to keep project name here. I'm going to do, I believe it's called original balance on our end. So yeah, original balance. I'm going to put that in here. And then I want to do health insurance payment. And then I want to do um, treatment start and end date. So I'm going to type in started and ended. And I'm going to type in treatment. Actually, for a quick tip, if you happen to not be able to find something that you're looking for, but you know in the section where it is, all you have to do is come here, copy it, and paste it in. And it's way easier to find it. Sometimes it'll actually just automatically go into the section for you if you type it word for word and there's no other options that lead off of it. So that's a lot easier than typing in every single thing, typically, unless it's a really short, you know, phrase or word that you're searching. So I have, I'm going to put the treatment dates here. I'm going to put it in the order I want to see it. And then I'm going to head over to health insurance payment criteria. So I want to pull in health insurance payment is empty. And then I'm going to select no. I want it to have a value or otherwise it won't show up on the report because I want to send this. Maybe I want to keep this for subrogation purposes. So I'm going to run this report, let it load a little bit, and then I'm going to save it. I don't really need to see the report like this because this is, you know, it's not for a full case list. I just want this for the collection section. So you're going to save it as, I like to save everything as a section title, and then I save it as what it is, health insurance payments. I'm going to hit save wait for it to save. And it does save after one click. You don't have to repeat that click. Otherwise it will save multiple times and you'll have to archive them. And then once it's saved, I'm going to hit export options and I'm going to open this up as an Excel. And I'm going to basically open this up as an Excel to dress up my report. You can just have it generate the way it, it does now, but I kind of want to make it look a little nicer. So I'm going to actually build one second a column here that's going to say client and then I'm going to have it say client's name right there. So this is just formatting the report the way you want to see it. I'm going to move this over, delete this so that way it's nice and clean. And then I'm going to move all of these up. Actually, I'm not going to move them up. Sorry, I'm getting a little indecisive whenever I'm building my reports. So I'm going to actually put some borders around these and I'm going to make this one have a top border since it's the title. And then I want to, let's say I want to format it a little different than the way it comes standard because I want it to match, we'll say like our firm's color codes or something, you know, um, I might want to change the font because this isn't the nicest font. This is usually my go-to font, honestly. <laughs> and then I believe this should work for what I'm looking for. I'm just going to treat it. I'll say, um, range of treatment for this. I like the way that that sounds better and I'm going to actually merge these fields and just remember to make sure you keep your begin and your end codes here. So every report that you have, whether this is for a report like this or this is a fusion report, you're going to want to have something that says like 
merge begin or merge merge field start merge field end if it's a word or it's going to have like begin and repeat with the code um, for every report. So just make sure you don't ever exclude that on accident. And this looks good to me. It's a really simple report that I just want to keep in the section. So I'm going to save it as on my desktop, somewhere easy for me to remember exactly where it's at. And I'm going to come here to upload template and I'm going to upload what we just built. So after this loads, I'm going to hit close and then I'm going to go to custom editor. So I'm going to go to the advanced settings, go to customs editor, and then I'm going to look for the section that we just put that in. And since it's a collection option or collection section, you'll have this little option button here. You're going to open this and I already have a report here called medical summary, but I'm going to also put in the medical section health insurance payment one. So I'm going to hit close. It should automatically save. You don't need to hit save. I'm going to refresh my screen. And then I'm going to, now you can see an Excel symbol here next to the print button. And you should be able to see it if your view is in any of these formats, because I know there's different versions to view this as. And then you should see a little drop down to choose the other report if you have more than one. And once it generates, we'll see what it looks like. Sometimes it'll generate and you might want to tweak it more. That's normal. So yeah, so like this, for instance, I don't want this to repeat this way. So I'm going to actually go in here and I'm going to tweak the template a little bit. So to tweak the template, you're actually just going to go right back into the, sec the report that you built. It'll automatically save your changes into the collection section once you hit save on this end. So I'm going to open up the export options, click on the template that I just edit um, since this one's already saved in there. And I believe this is the issue. So I'm going to edit the note, copy it and paste it down here to see if that save uh, fixes the issue. So I'm going to save it here. And then I'm going to delete the note from right here. I'm going to hit save and I am going to yeah, make sure that it's saved correctly. And it should be, I have a lot of these. So, um, so that's why I recommend saving it somewhere you can find easily. So I just saved it over on my desktop. I replaced the original one with what I just changed. So I'm going to export or put that in there, hit close. Then I'm going to go back to the section in the, like in my test case and try it out or whatever case you want to try it out on. And I'm going to generate it again. And now see how it doesn't repeat. So all I had to do was change the start and end code range. Um, it needs to be down here. So these can be repeating fields, but so the name doesn't need to be a repeating field. So that is how you build a collection section report. You can, you know, add as much detail as you need or as little as you need. And um, I'll show you this one is a medical summary. A lot of people use this for in their demand letters. So it would be a list of all the providers, the treatment range date, and then just the balance, the original balance for the demand. So anyways, I hope this helps. Thanks.